imposing and terrifying. The rapier of surface-to-air missile system looks like something out of the arsenal of a supervillain. But despite its futuristic and dreadful appearance, the British-made missile system was designed 60 years ago for a world deeply submerged in the Cold War. During the 1980s, 60 of these robust missile systems were acquired by Switzerland, which diligently maintained and updated the technology for almost 50 years to keep up to date with modern military weaponry. Now, in a staggering call, the Swiss military has decided to decommission the rapier system and dispose of them, so that they are never used by any military faction in the world, sparking a global debate on the role of powerful weapons in an increasingly unstable world. Precision and Power The Rapier surface-to-air missile system is a British-made weapons platform developed in the 1960s during the Cold War era. It was designed to protect military assets from aerial threats such as enemy aircraft, helicopters, and cruise missiles. The system has been in use for over six decades and has undergone numerous upgrades to keep it relevant in modern warfare. It includes several components, a launcher, a radar unit, and missile reload vehicles. The launcher, which can carry up to eight missiles, is mounted on a trailer and can be transported by road, sea, or air. Moreover, its unit is a cylindrical powerhouse designed to be carried on a two-wheeled A-frame trailer. Once deployed, the wheels are removed, allowing four adjustable legs to be used for stabilization. The Rapier Missile Systems launcher was a remarkable technological feat of its era, featuring a state-of-the-art surveillance radar dish and an identification friend or foe, or IFF, system discreetly housed beneath a radome atop the unit. A parabolic antenna used to send guidance commands to the missiles sits at the front, while the guidance computer, radar transmitter, and receiver electronics are strategically positioned at the bottom. The missiles it uses are equally impressive. Their streamlined monocoque bodies have a circular cross-section and four main sections, warhead, guidance, propulsion unit, and control. The warhead section carries a semi-armor-piercing warhead with 0.4 kilograms of explosives, a safety and arming unit, and a crush fuse. The collapsible plastic nose cone is specially designed to optimize aerodynamic shape. Tracking and Tactical Control Capabilities Another significant feature of the rapier is its engagement time to the maximum effective range, a mere 13 seconds, with a response time from target detection to missile launch of just six seconds. The Mark II Rapier missile, the only version currently in production, is fully compatible with all new versions of the Rapier missile system, boasting a 15 to 20 percent increase in range. The system is aided by a powerful optical tracker that has evolved throughout its service. Standing on a tripod with a leveling jack on each leg, it features a static column with a rotating head that provides 360-degree coverage in azimuth. In addition, the Tactical Control Unit, or TCU, provides tactical management services and is divided into 32 sectors in an azimuth spherical coordinate system. By operating sector switches, blind arcs can be built up as required to provide safe channels for friendly aircraft or set in priority fire arcs. Through these safeguards, the system can engage enemy aircraft while allowing safe passage to friendly aircraft. However, the original rapier system had a significant weakness. It was vulnerable to inclement weather. To address this, the Marconi DN-181 blindfire radar was introduced in 1970, with more than 350 produced by 1997. This allowed for all-weather capability, and it improved foreign sales. Old but lethal. The Rapier missile system has been used in numerous conflicts, including the Falklands War, where it proved to be a highly effective weapon against Argentine aircraft. During the conflict, the British Army deployed the Rapier system on the islands and shot down several aircraft with it. Switzerland acquired 60 Rapier systems in the 1980s, and the Swiss military has maintained and upgraded the systems to keep them relevant to modern warfare. Due to the constant modifications and updates, the system has undergone a wide range of missile launcher iterations, ranging from the original blindfire radar unit to the highly mobile track rapier system, 
and all the way to the Rapier 2000, an advanced system bolstered by a state-of-the-art optical sensor array. The Rapier missile system has several features that make it a formidable weapon on the battlefield. First, its mobility allows it to be rapidly deployed to any location, making it an ideal weapon for protecting military assets in the field. Second, the IFF guidance system provides high accuracy for the operator while keeping friendly units safe from harm. However, the Rapier missile system also has limitations, with some of the iterations being unfit for all-weather operation. The system is also vulnerable to electronic countermeasures, which can disrupt the radar tracking and guidance systems. Finally, the system has a limited range, which means it's only effective against short-range threats. This is especially significant when compared to much more current surface-to-air missile solutions, which can engage aircraft at a much broader range. Worldwide Controversy The Rapier units were fully modernized in 2007, upgrading them with optical tracking, converting them into the Rapier 2000 version. In consequence, despite the 70-year-old original design, the missile launchers continue to be relevant in modern combat scenarios, and it's widely believed that they could offer a considerable advantage to struggling military factions, such as the Ukrainian forces. Despite owning some of the most advanced Rapier 2000 units, which have constantly been maintained and updated, the Swiss government is determined to dismantle its 60 surface-to-air missile systems. The weapon can still pack a punch. In fact, experts around the world agree that it could help the Ukrainian defense forces take out low-flying targets. With Mark I and Mark II missiles at its disposal, the launcher can strike targets at a maximum range of 8 kilometers and an altitude of 5 kilometers. Its specifications are modest in modern warfare, but still considerably helpful. With these capabilities in mind, numerous nations and military experts urged Switzerland to donate the air defense systems to Ukraine, instead of dismantling them, when the nation first announced the decommissioning plans. Nevertheless, Sweden has decided to continue with the plan. As of recently, they had already destroyed the first batch of rapiers in what is planned to be a four-phase process. These actions have led to stern criticism, as the move is seen as a deliberate avoidance to help the military efforts of Ukraine, even when the transfer would be cheaper than the process of dismantling the units. Even so, the Swiss government has refrained from addressing the topic of missile systems, and has instead emphasized the nation's policy of neutrality, claiming that the missile systems are considerably outdated and therefore challenging to maintain. Some sources have determined that the original decision to scrap the 60-year-old systems was taken due to a military budget restriction within Switzerland, which would explain their actions, which seem to defy the rest of the continent's strong will to support the military efforts of the Ukrainian people, and it may lead to diplomatic tensions within the European bloc. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. To stay up to date on the latest warfare technology, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. And if you want to know how technology has impacted history's most fierce battles, tap on your screen and discover our other Dark Documentaries channels. We post new videos regularly, so stay tuned.